So in uh, this topic, we're trying to figure out, could you upload yourself to a computer? Could you take your mind and put it into a computer? And another way of asking that question is, um, let's say I do some sort of process that attempts to put my mind into a computer, and we end up with a computer that sort of is saying the things that I say and is saying my name is Danny and stuff like this. What we want to know is, is that computer me? Or uh, am I identical to that computer? Are they the same thing? So this is a sort of more technical way of putting the question, can I upload my mind into a computer? And uh, when we talk about this, when we say, am I the computer? Am I identical to the computer? This brings up the idea of uh, identity. And in philosophy, we have two different ways of talking about identity, or at least two different ways. And Chalmers mentions these in his article. He talks about qualitative identity and numerical identity. Uh, this came up on the reading quiz with the question about uh, the cat, I think, my roommate's cat. What, what did I use for the example? Um, uh, oh, I used a few examples. So my the cat Bodhi, the cat Lily, stuff like this. And so qualitative identity, as uh, Chalmers puts it, is about having the exact same qualities. So two things are qualitatively identical to the extent that they have the same properties or qualities or features. And this comes in degrees, so something can be more or less qualitatively identical. So if I have one cat over here and another cat over here, qualitatively they share a lot of qualities, so they're pretty qualitatively identical. So they are both cats, uh, they both have fur, they both have tails, they both have whiskers, stuff like this. But uh, the cats might not be qualitatively exactly identical. There might be differences between the two cats. So this cat uh, might be gray and white, and this cat is black. This cat has long hair, this cat has short hair. So qualitatively, they're partially identical and partially non-identical. You could have two cats that are qualitatively very uh, identical. So maybe one black cat and another black cat of the same size and age and stuff. Um, you could have two cats that are qualitatively very different. You could have a cat and a telephone, and those are qualitatively extremely different, but they're still a little identical. They're both made of matter and things like this. So qualitative identity is about features and stuff. And basically, we're not interested in this for this unit. When I ask, am I identical to the computer? Qualitatively, there's actually lots of differences. So me and the computer, I'm like flesh and blood. The computer is silicon and other stuff. Um, I was sort of born biologically, the computer was built by scientists or something like this. I'm a certain number of years old, the computer is a different number of years old. Um, all sorts of qualitative differences between me and the computer. There's going to be some qualitative similarities too. So I'm going to say my name is Danny, the computer will say my name is Danny. Uh, I will be interested in talking about philosophy, the computer will be interested in talking about philosophy. Yeah, but qualitatively, they're pretty different. Now, that's one kind of identity, qualitative identity. Again, we don't really care. What we care about is the other kind, numerical identity. So Chalmers says uh, two things are not numerically identical. I'm not numerically identical to my identical twin because it is not me. So what exactly does this mean? So numerical identity is a property that holds between something and itself and nothing else. So what is a cat numerically identical to? That same cat and nothing else. The cat is not numerically identical to any other cats. It's not numerically identical to a phone. It's not numerically identical to me. It's only numerically identical to itself. Everything is numerically identical to itself. I am numerically identical to me. The computer is identi numerically identical to the computer and so on. So. Let's say the cat's name is Bodhi. We have the cat and we have Bodhi. Are they numerically identical to each other? And the answer is yes. Those are just two different names for the same thing. They're numerically identical. We have me on Monday and me on Wednesday. Are they numerically identical? Uh, the answer is I think yes. So you could argue about this. This is sort of the question of personal identity and uh, you can learn about it in philosophy classes, but broadly speaking, we think, yes, they're the same uh, person. There are some qualitative differences. So maybe on Monday, I'm very sleepy. On Wednesday, I'm not sleepy. 
Maybe I get a haircut, so on Monday I have long hair, on Wednesday I have short hair. Qualitatively different, numerically the same. Danny on Monday, Danny on Wednesday, they equal each other. We call this numerical identity because you can sort of imagine you're counting different things and you give a number to each thing, so one, two, three, four, etc. Numerical identity is like you get a number. So I'm counting cats. How many cats do I have? One, two, three, four, there's four numerically distinct cats. So now I'm counting cats and I have a, this cat and I have Bodhi. And how many cats do I have? Well, they're the same. Remember, Bodhi is just another name for this cat. So I don't count one, two cats. I just count one, one cat. There's, I only need one number for these cats because uh, they're the same cat. So the question we're interested in in this unit when I say, can you upload yourself to a, my, or to a computer is would the uploaded version be numerically identical to you? Is it sort of just another way of talking about you? Are they numerically identical? Again, qualitatively, there's going to be differences, but numerically, are they the same? So that is our question.